Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we're going to take a look at the G106 and how it pairs up with the XPA125B amp from Zygu. In this case, I have it configured using the DE19, but you can just as easily get the proper cable to go from 8-pin to 6-pin between devices made by the same manufacturer. Let's get over to the bench and get this done. I have the Zygu G106 connected through the DE19 hanging out back here into the XPA125B amp. And then I have the MFJ849 power meter. And then off to the side here is the cell wave dummy load. So we're not going to do any on-air work. We're just going to do some power work. I've got the radio into QSK mode, as you can see, which means let's do break in. I'm in CW. I'm going to use my CW key right here. And that's going to put out the most amount of power that we can put out. I'm on 80 meters. I have the amplifier set into the auto mode over here. So does it track from the radio? There's 60, there's 40, there's 30, there's 20, 17, 15, 12. And we didn't go to 10. All right, so we missed 10. And we did get 160. This radio uses an ALC circuit between the radio and the amplifier. So it should lower the power down. So right now we're on 80 meters CW and we get 6.6 .6 on the amplifier and 6.2 on the MFJ. And as you guys know, if you have two different meters, you never know which one's right. We're not looking at that. We're just looking at difference, rate of change. So when this one goes from 6.3 to, I don't know, 900, great. When this one goes from 6.6 .6 to 902, so you see the difference that I'm working on there. We're just looking for how much difference are we getting out of this. So right now the amplifier is turned off and 6.6, 6.3. We're going to turn the amplifier on, on 80 meters. And that dropped down to 5.2, 76 watts out, 82.78 on the MFJ. Fantastic. Let's change bands up. So we're on 60 meters and we have automatically changed over here. Let's turn the amplifier off. 4.6 watts out, 4.39 out. Turn the amplifier on. 3.5 in, 88 out, 93 out. So the ALC circuit is working fantastically to back the power off in the radio to do a good match on the amplifier because the radio is set to high power. And this radio actually puts out more power than is specified, which is fantastic. So now we're on to 40 meters, amplifier off. 5.2 out, 4.85 out, amplifier on. We drop down to 4.7 and 73 watts out. 30 meters, automatically changed, amplifier is off. 3.7 watts out, 3.67, close enough. Let's turn the amplifier on. 80 watts out, 3.1. All right, so we are on 20 meters. We automatically switch to 20 meters. 6.1, 5.6. Okay, let's turn the amplifier on. 6.1, 88, 89. It's struggling, 90. Excellent. 17 meters, amplifier off, CW mode. 5.5, 4.9, okay. Let's turn the amplifier on. We're, we're pushing 100 there at the beginning, but we're down to 95, 97-ish, 97-ish, and we drop down to 4.8 there. Excellent. All right, we are on 15 meters. Let's turn that off. 6.6 .6 watts out, and it's, it's reading 8 on the other side. 6 watts out over there. Let's turn the amplifier on. 6, 82, 79. Excellent. 12 meters, CW mode, amplifier off. 8 watts out. So I told you, it gives you more than 5 watts on some bands. 7.23 according to the MFJ. Let's turn the amplifier on. 6.8, 98, 98. Fantastic. This is a good matchup. I like this. We're on 80 meters now, and... We're on lower side band mode, the amp is at 80 meters, and we are turned off as far as amplification goes. And if you just key down, you get hardly any power out. 
what you're picking up is the the actual click from the microphone. The the plastic tinny sound is what's being transmitted there. But once you stop, you get no power out. So you have to throw some modulation out there. That's why we use the CW mode for testing, or we use the FT8 mode or RIDI mode or something along those lines. And that's why you'll see some of the old timers go, audio, audio. And then you see the, the power level that we put out, audio. Now let's turn the amplifier on and try that again. Audio, audio. So you can see we don't get as much power out compared to straight key down CW. 85. Audio, audio versus 84. And if I try to do like a normal CQ call, for example, CQ, 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 this is Kilo Mike 9 Golf calling CQ on 80 meters and standing by. You can see my power fluctuated anywhere from 12 to 76, 77 watts out. So that's why we always test with that. Okay, let's talk a little bit about ALC circuits. The beauty of using a Zygu amp and the Zygu radio is that the amp and the radio talk to each other over what's called an ALC circuit, an automatic level control circuit. And in this case, that circuit controls the amount of power that the radio puts out to keep the amplifier from being overmodulated, overloaded, overburdened, etc. To get you the most power out that you can with the least amount of power in, which makes everybody happy. So that's why I demonstrated what it did power out before and after plugging the amp in so that you could see that that circuit was actually working. Pretty neat. All right, so that worked out fantastically. I told you the G106 puts out more power than it is rated, which is a good thing on some bands. And the amplifier performed like a champ and it just does the thing. I like it. You also now know why OMs say audio all the time. It's because lower sideband or upper sideband don't put out any signal at all until you make some noise. And if you're not making any noise, there's no signal, there's no amplification of nothing, therefore zero in, zero out. Pretty cool how that works. Now you know. Links for all of this stuff that I described and demonstrated in the video are down in the description below in case you want some more information. Otherwise, there is a video right up here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.